10% of their ground coffee be ground up cockroach. Right, so this is the actual FDA regulation and this is basically um, regulatory action can take place if there is 10% or more by count of green coffee beans are insect infested, including insect damage or moldy. So that is not the same as saying that, you know, up to 10% of coffee grounds can be ground up bugs. Here's a picture of insect damaged coffee beans uh, by the coffee berry borer and the coffee bean weevil. Up to 10% by count can be insect infested, meaning um, they have little insects in them, which would result in insect parts because obviously coffee beans are going to be roasted, they're processed, uh, you're pouring boiling water over it. So these bugs are not gonna be live in the finished product, but it's basically saying that 10% by count of the coffee beans can have insect parts or can be insect damage like these ones. Again, that is not the same as saying up to 10% can be, you know, whole bugs or ground up bugs. So just a simple example, let's say you have 100 coffee beans. 10 of those coffee beans could be insect damage or could potentially have insect parts in them. That's also not saying that, you know, 10% of all coffee or all ground coffee is insect damaged. That's just the regulation where they will take action above that threshold and further processing will need to remove those coffee beans or remove those insect parts if it exceeds that 10% by count of green coffee beans. All right, now the mold thing, because I know some people are gonna ask questions about that because I mentioned that can be a part of that 10%. So yes, mold can occur during the curing, drying, and storage periods of green coffee. So again, roasting the beans helps to kill molds that produce mycotoxins. Remember these 10% uh, numbers are based on green coffee beans, so that is before roasting. In addition to that, if they exceed a certain level, they will be discarded. I know a lot of this sounds gross and sounds like the tolerance should be zero, but that's just not practical, and if that were the case, we would need to be dousing these things in pesticides and fungicides and or just throwing away a lot of product, which would create a lot of waste. 